m'appelle Kesson. J'ai 7 ans et je suis en quatrième primaire. J'ai un petit frère qui s'appelle Keyom, qui a 3 ans. J'aime l'école, la musique, les mathématiques et la lecture. Mes parents sont originaires du Bangladesh et du Cameroun. Et nous sommes tous belges. Qui êtes-vous Alors moi, je m'appelle Nicolas Schmitt. Je viens du Luxembourg et je suis commissaire européen. Alors le commissaire européen, il y en a 27 en tout pour chaque État membre, puisqu'il y a 27 États membres. Alors moi, je m'occupe tout particulièrement de tout ce qui est emploi pour que chacun ait un bon travail et euh, les droits sociaux, c'est-à-dire pour que chacun ait droit à une bonne éducation, à des soins quand on est malade, euh, à un bon salaire aussi. On travaille beaucoup là-dessus, donc pour que chaque famille, chaque enfant aille mieux et pour préparer un peu votre futur, votre avenir. My name is Beatrice. I am 10 years old. I have a little sister Isabella who is 6 years old. I love Christmas decorating, decorating and I like listening to music. Today is World Children's Day. What does it mean to you? What does the European Union do for children? Well, Beatrice and uh, Kaysan, you know, you are our future. The children are the future of Europe. And uh, the European Union is very much committed to prepare your future, to work for the children of today, that they have a good job, a good education, a good life. For Europe, we have launched now what we call a EU, EU strategy on the rights of the child, because children have rights. You have the right to go to school. You have the right to be listened to. You have the right uh, on, for good health. So a lot of things are in this strategy. By the way, here is a, a, a booklet on your rights. So you can read it and see how important it is. And um, uh, we also work a lot on, especially on, for those children who are in more difficult situations. Uh, you go to school, you have uh, nice moments with your parents going to restaurants or having nice food in the morning. Unfortunately, there are millions of children in Europe who do not have these rights, who do not have uh, uh, a nice breakfast. So we have to make sure that every child in Europe gets the same right, the same opportunity, the same good food, that they can prosper that they can also have a good future, a good job, a good education. So that's called the child guarantee. So we want to guarantee to every European child this good future. That's what we are doing. And this was launched and now we work with member states, with a lot of people to make this real and to make it happen. What does it guarantee? How will this help my friends at school? Well, uh, it guarantees, as I said already, first uh, for those children in need, those children coming from poor families where parents cannot afford all the things, that uh, when they are small, that they get the right care, the right child care, in order to prepare them for school. And when they go to school, that they have the books, because uh, books are important. But not just the books. We have now seen with the pandemic, you need a computer, for instance. Otherwise, you cannot communicate. So that's what we want to make sure that every child gets this. But also, when you, uh, with your school, you go somewhere, you are on a school trip. Well, there might be some children having not the means, not having the resources to go on school trips. So to make sure that also every child has these possibilities. When are the children in need going to get all these things? Will this be for everybody? Well, uh, I would say as soon as possible. We launched this. We also have, this will cost some money, you know. We have to fund this. We have to find the money to do that. And so we have European money. We also convince member states uh, to uh, uh, to give more money for children, for all these projects, for all these improvements in children's life. And uh, we have started to do that. And I hope 
that uh, the first improvements will be come very soon. You have asked me a few questions, but now uh, I would like to ask you a question. If you had one w wish that you would like the European Union to help you with, what would it be? Help build a study room in every primary school with books, paper, tablets and more. And to have decent, good and enough food in every school. And you, kai -san? That more and more schools adopt Maria Montessori's teaching philosophy because children should be more autonomous in their learning journey. These are very important wishes. We try to make them real. <laughs>